Hey, what's going on? Hi, you're recording it? <laughs> what's going on? Well, I just, first of all, cut myself really bad. Oh. In the box. Hey, Coco, it's okay. So we, um, what happened? I think I have a UTI. And I'm having like a lot of burning and pain kind of when peeing. So we call it the like nurse hotline here in Canada. I don't even know if we have it in the States. But we called and they said that I need to go into emergency room to be seen. Um, and of course I was all over Google checking like what can happen and everything. <laughs> like, And it said, a couple people were saying like it was causing them to have contractions um, when they had a UTI. Ah! Yeah. That's like right on the edge too. Ew, 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 ew. ew. Um, no, don't show it. <laughs> um, oh, Gross. So, I do you had... Want, do you want me to help you? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. We were, at, we were grocery shopping and I had like three Braxton Hicks contractions all within like 30 minutes. I think they were Braxton Hicks um, just because like they weren't really painful but I was, I was on the phone with my mom. I was like... Um, and I had a little bit of like cramping. So yeah, we called basically and I talked to a nurse and she told me to go in. So we're gonna go into L&D. So yeah, we're gonna go into the hospital just to make sure everything's all right, see if they wanna do anything specifically. They're probably just gonna run a few tests. And See, I, when I use this camera, all I wanna do is look at myself. I know, that's but why I love it. When I use my camera, I look directly at the camera. Now you guys. Ew, I'm bleeding so much, why? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, she's been terrible at vlogging, so I figured this I is kind of like an important thing to deal with everything and maybe some other moms might be going through something similar and be like, I need to search, you, search YouTube, know what's going on. If nothing else, it'll be with some good clickbait. And then voila. <laughs> All right, let's go. We made it. She's doing a urine sample. Sorry, I'll get out of here. She's no. <gasps> I can't see you. I can just see where I'm aiming. They want to monitor me for um, at least 20 minutes. It's been a little while actually, but um, I guess it looks like her heart rate is a little bit higher than normal. Um, typically it's in like the 120s, 30s. Why are you so close to me? Because you can't, it's very soft. Oh, and the, it's normally in the 120s or so. And right now it's been like in the 150s and 60s. So I'm not oh, sure. It just dipped really hard though. Oh. Whoa. guys so it's the next morning um i realized that i didn't really fully update you guys on what was going on last night we didn't end up getting home until like 1 a.m um but they had continued to, they called in my antibiotic for my um uti which is like so uncomfortable especially with the mix of that and the lightning like sharp pains um but you can tell I look so tired right now too. I'm like, huh? did not get much sleep. Um, but they were monitoring me for quite a long time because like several hours because baby girl, um, I think in the last clip I showed, I was like, her heart rate seems higher than normal. And apparently that's fine because it was still in the like healthy range and it's normal for their heart rates to fluctuate. Um, but what they weren't seeing was enough accelerations. Um, so her average heart rate was like 145. So they wanted to see it accelerating at times to 160 and it only did that one time. Um, so because of that, I am back at the hospital today. They wanted me to come back in to do an NST, which is a, um, non-stress test. So basically just hooking me up to the same machine um, and they just want to see that baby girl's heart is functioning properly. 
so should be fine I'm thinking the nurse was telling me how like sometimes they just catch baby at the wrong time um, so hopefully she cooperates but yeah back at the hospital <laughs> I'm just happy I'm not in labor that's the that's the good news I don't know if you guys could hear in any of the clips from last night but there was somebody laboring right next to me because we were like in the check-in like triage um, area of labor and delivery I don't know how they had not admitted her yet because it sounded like homegirl was deep into labor <laughs> um, but yeah it, that was like the entire three hours that we were there it, she was moaning and stuff and getting through the contractions and me and Danny were just like oh my god <laughs> so we have that to look forward to um, anywho so I just brought some ice cold water with me and a banana um, last night they had me drink apple juice but that still did not work I think I definitely hit something on my way here and I'm afraid to look on that side of my car because I was like changing lanes and there must have been something in the road I didn't I still don't know what it is um, but it made a noise and yeah and I'm kind of afraid to look at my tires because if I have a flat tire that's just not gonna be cute in my new car and in Canada eh. so let's hope that that isn't the case anyways I'm gonna go in do this NST um, it sounds like I'll probably start doing these at least once a week now for the rest of the pregnancy why am I out of breath I've literally just been driving Anywho, after that I'm going to um, run a couple errands I want to find some slippers and some socks for my hospital bag um, and thankfully the VIB or no the Sephora like Rouge um, summer thing discount thing it, it came at like the perfect time because I'm trying not to spend like extra money and stuff because we have so many baby expenses right now um, but I'm running out of all my makeup at once I literally hate it when that happens because then it's like you have to drop in like a hundred a couple hundred dollars on makeup and that just like stings <laughs> especially when it's the stuff that you use day to day it's not like fun stuff to buy you know it's just like I am out of my foundation my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um, and a couple of my eyebrow pencil like stuff like that. That's just like ew That's no fun to buy. <laughs> I use you every day. You're no fun. Um, yeah, okay So we're gonna do that. We're gonna run some errands. I will let you guys know how baby girl is looking and Yeah, that's all Hi guys, it's much later in the night um, I'm back home. So I have updates for you because today went well a lot differently than I was expecting um, We're home right now though packing my hospital bag, Danny's hospital bag, um, the diaper bag that we're gonna bring, like baby girl's clothes and stuff that we're bringing to the hospital, and anything extra. But I'm also recording on my phone because I left my camera in the car, and I don't feel like going down to the parking garage to get it. But let's talk about what happened today. So you guys saw that I was going in to get my NST, my um, non-stress test, and I was expecting it to be just like a quick in and out thing, um, but they didn't like how um, baby M's heart rate was looking. So they um, monitored me for, I, honestly, I think it was like three hours today. Um, but they thought that her heart rate, her, it was doing like weird fluctuations kind of. At one point it dipped down to 120 and then, which is in, it was for the most part in like the normal healthy range. But um, the accelerations and decelerations weren't ideal. Um, so at one point it dipped down to 120 and then spiked back up to 163 and her like average heart rate her like baseline was higher than it was last night when we were in the hospital um so because of that they decided to order an ultrasound because they weren't sure like i was asking well could it be because i have an infection um the you know urinary tract infection um could that be causing like her heart rate to spike um and they were just saying that if that were the case, I would be having like a fever and stuff too. So I was having hot flashes and everything, um, but I didn't actually have a fever. And the hot flashes for me aren't totally out of the norm um, and like feeling faint and stuff like that just because of my anemia. So they ordered an ultrasound um, and I went in by myself, but Danny ended up coming and meeting me. He brought my antibiotic with me and then also um, some Subway because <laughs> I had to eat something with it. And I was there and hungry for a few hours. Um, 
But then we went down and had the ultrasound and it was a pretty extensive ultrasound actually. They checked literally everything. They checked her growth, they checked her movement. Um, they wanted to see her practicing breathing and stuff, which she was doing, um, but which she was doing. So yeah, it was, I was a little bit nervous at first, but then I was kind of happy they ordered the ultrasound just so that I could get like the reassurance and stuff and get to see her. So that ultrasound took, um, I don't know, like probably like 30 minutes. And then my doctor actually was on call and she came in at five o'clock. Um, so by that time I had been there for a couple hours, but it was cool cause she arrived to the hospital like for her on call shift or whatever. Cause she delivers babies there obviously. Um, she got there just in time to read the results from my ultrasound. Weird thing is the ultrasound looks actually great. Um, baby girl's still measuring ahead. They said she's measuring at like 37 weeks in a few days. Um, she estimated weight is 6.6 .6 pounds, I believe. Um, but it was so cute. We got to see, I don't know where the pictures are, but we got to see her, um, she was like yawning or not yawning. She was like sticking her tongue out and pursing her lips and stuff. It was so cute. And she was moving a ton. That's the thing is she's been moving a lot. So that's been reassuring too. Um, but yeah, my doctor basically said, she sent me home um, and said, like, it's not ideal. Like, the heart rate isn't exactly what they want to see. But it's also not reason to, like, it's not an emergency. So they're going to monitor me a little bit more closely. Um, the doctor I'm seeing is actually just a, a general practitioner who she obviously specializes in delivering babies. Um, but she said that she did refer me to an OB. So they will be looking at my case um, as we get closer to the birth. She also ordered me to have um, the NSTs weekly. So I'll be going into the hospital each week of my pregnancy at least, um, along with my weekly just doctor appointments seeing her. So we'll be monitoring little one a bit more closely. Other than that, um, she just told me to continue taking my iron and to take the antibiotic um, that they gave me, that they prescribed me last night and we'll keep on monitoring little girl so yeah it kind of did freak me out a little bit though being in the hospital like it just made me anxious and while we were there there was a girl who like wasn't expecting i think she was there for some sort of monitoring or whatever and they were like we're gonna keep you we're gonna induce you um tomorrow morning but you can't go home like we're gonna keep you here and I just, if that happens, like, I want to be prepared. Um, and I don't, we're definitely, like, not prepared yet. Um, so we are packing our bags. We're actually um, packing our bags and baking some cookies because it's so random. We never, like, bake or anything. But um, we found this recipe that we've been watching this um, YouTube show, Binging with Babish. It's like a cooking show and he um showed making these cookies and me and danny were both like oh my god and i was like babe can we make them and danny was like okay but we were making a deal that we're only having one in the, or one a day so i was like okay we can do that um anywho yeah so packing the bags i will have a complete separate um video of what's in my hospital bag and what i put in the diaper bag and everything like that but yeah that's what's up bit of a interesting day and I wasn't able to get much done other than being at the hospital but baby M's our priority right now right? <laughs>